Let's add some flair to our game by learning how to animate game objects within Unity itself. Now, let's for example start with a door that as soon as we walk into the door, the door opens automatically for us and shows us the rest of the level. To do that, let's first add the rest of the level. Click the Y view and then duplicate the floor. Move it over so that it fits almost exactly tightly on there. Let me zoom in here a little bit. And that should do the trick just fine. I'm not being very precise on this one. Okay, next what we need is we need to add some walls and a door. So let's add another game object and a cube. Let's zoom in and position it right at the where the two floors meet. Scale it. Let's make sure it looks good from this side view as well. Let's move it up a little bit. Let's make this a pretty thick wall so it feels a little more massive. That looks good. Now we need to duplicate these twice to create a door in the middle. By using edit duplicate and this will do the trick just fine. Perfect. Now last but not least we need a door right inside of this so let's take one of these, duplicate it, move it over and make it skinnier than the other ones and also smaller. The height however can be exactly the same size. Alright, got that. Works perfectly. Let's rename this one and call it door. And let's grab the other two and call them wall. You can use the same names in Unity. Alright, perfect. Now what we need is to start animating this door. So to do that we need the animation panel. To animate this we need the animation view. So just click this little triangle here, click add tab, and then animation. Let's move this over towards the bottom here so that we can see both the scene view as well as the animation view. Now the hierarchy that we see here is exactly the same as the hierarchy we see here except that it has all the values that we have in the inspector also in the animatable view. So when I click on the door, you can see the door is selected right here as a game object and currently that door has no animation clips. So we need to create a new animation clip and it's going to ask us where do we want to save it. So let's make a new folder and call this animations. And inside that let's call this animation door underscore open. Alright, perfect. Now we see that in the door inspector panel that an animation has been added and the animation is called door open. Alright, now we need to fill up this door with an animation. Okay, so with the animation selected I'm going to hit the record button and the record button as you can see turns a couple of things red. First is this red line which shows where we are in the animation and then the controls up top are also turning red. Now let's zoom in a little bit on the animation and you can use these handles to zoom in. And as you can see there is a timeline attached here. Now there's two numbers, a number before the column and after the column. The number before is the amount of seconds and the number after is the amount of frames. So depending on if you want to animate on frames or on timing is depending on you whether you want it on frames or time is up to you. Now what we need is the door to go down so we only need to animate the Y. So select position.y and then click the triangle and say add a key. This will add a keyframe to the door at this moment. Let's go on a couple of frames. How about for example 30 frames and then move the door down. This will automatically add a keyframe and I'm moving it down so much that it's invisible. Okay, perfect. Now when I scroll back my timeline you can see the door is now animating and this is exactly what I want. Perfect. Let's come out of animation mode and then play our game.
Now as you can see, the door opens right away. We might not want that, so let's change this in the inspector panel. As you can see, I have door open as default animation right now, and play automatically is selected. So let's uncheck that, and that will solve that. And as you can see right now, the door will not open by itself. Now all we need to do is add some script that as soon as we come close enough to the door that it plays the open animation and we can pass. And we'll do that in the next video.